again. So uh, day 10 of my 90 day challenge. And this one I'm entitling Countdown to Christmas. <laughs> if there's any educators out there, you know that the last week, a few days before Christmas get a little hectic, a little crazy. Um, there's this different energy about the building. Some kids are totally excited. They want to unwrap presents. They want to be home for the week. And then you get a large population of kids that don't want to be home. It's not a great place for them. And, you know, school is actually their kind of solid foundation. So they're not looking forward to being away from school. So, you know, as adults, it's, is the wrapping done? Is the shopping done? Do we have the meals planned? The kids are thinking, what are we going to get for presents? There's this huge energy all about the countdown to Christmas. So I'm at two days left before we get time off. Um, this year, my Christmas Eve is going to be the big one. That's when I get to spend the most time with my family and, you know, do a whole bunch of cooking, which I love to do cooking. So I'm really, really excited about that. You know, making a lasagna and ham and scalloped potatoes and, and all the fun stuff. And, you know, then certainly, of course, Christmas morning. My son's going to be a little bit older, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot more fun this year. Watching him open presents and see what he gets and, and so forth. So, uh, you know, I hope you're tying up your loose ends. I hope that if you're traveling, that it's going to be wonderful, safe travels, you know, and uh, if you get to stay at home, awesome. And I just truly hope that it's peaceful, as calm as a holiday can be, uh, rejuvenating and, you know, joyful. Yeah, I, I really do hope that there's this peace and love and, and goodwill energy uh, towards all of it and that it's not stressful but joyful enjoy the lights enjoy all of it because we're gonna blink and hey another season will be done so uh, if you're blessed to have time off during the Christmas holiday enjoy every minute of it I know at my school we are unplugging for the week you know no huge assignments not much homework and the encouragement is to step away from the computer, step away from the work and kind of regroup. I am, I'm hoping that I get to read a book or at least a good portion of a book. And, uh, it'll be nice not to have to wear a mask for me a week. So, uh, you can certainly breathe a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I really do hope all these wonderful things for everyone. Um, oh, winter solstice. My dad always used to term this as the happiest day of the year because he, um, each one of the days got longer, you know, so this was the longest nighttime day. So then it means that the days were going to get longer from here on out. And so he always viewed that as a wonderful, joyous occasion there. Um, so no matter where you are, I hope you're having a great day. And, uh, you know, I truly, truly hope that the holidays will be wonderful for you. And we'll see what tomorrow brings in the energy of school tomorrow. Thanks all for tuning in.